Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another spirit message tip. Um, lately, I've been posting a lot of tips. Um, one of my favorite websites was to find out the spiritual meaning of a number and I posted that website. Another one that I wanted to share on my channel with you is You Can Heal Your Life with Louise Hay. And Louise Hay, of course, is from Hay House. Uh, she passed away. Uh, just I think about a year or two ago if I'm not mistaken. I mean she was she started Hay House But long before then I mean she was very famous in the 80s um, She did a lot of healing work especially when AIDS was coming first coming out I remember reading about that about how she would hold healing sessions in her own personal home um, And then she came out with you can heal your life and she literally put down for every symptom that you might have a spiritual meaning to it and um, what that could possibly mean so what I wanted to share with you on this channel though is um, a great website that I constantly refer to that has a list of symptoms and how you could heal yourself or at least think about how spiritually that is occurring for you um, I find it really informative so of course you can go out and buy you can heal your life but I always have this website that has the literal list and causes of symptoms um, everything from back pain like what does it mean that you have back pain what does it mean if you have bad allergies so let me I'll put down in the description box this uh, website and literally what you do is you scroll down past all the ads and it will literally have all the symptoms possible that you might be affected by say allergies I suffer from allergies it says it's denying your own power Everything that you suffer imaginable, um, she gives the spiritual meaning of what that means. The back, I mean, you can almost understand that, of course, it would feel like you're not supported, um, but that's what she puts too. I mean, so intuitively, it's like you kind of already figured that out, but it represents the support of life. So it means when you don't feel supported, lower back pain that most uh suffer from fear of money or lack of financial support the upper back is lack of emotional support it's so so interesting um it literally is in alphabetical order again i'll put the website down in the description box but it's from a to z and for years and years and years whenever i had anything wrong with me this was saved in my favorites on my on my desktop and i always referred back like what it means and it gives you time to it really gives you you know pause you to think colds too much going on at once mental confusion small hurts um you know if you have cysts if you have um anything so again from a to z going all the way down and some of them it's just so interesting it's so interesting fatigue resistance boredom lack of love for what one does um so if you understand the spiritual causation or the spiritual meaning behind it, then you could, you know, take steps to really, again, like what she says, you can heal your life. Um, like it says here, you can heal your life. And it's all about self-love. Um, all of these causations, um, when it comes right down to it, um, it's providing for yourself what you need. Um, okay, so let's scroll down. Sorry for making you dizzy, but it is so, so, so interesting. Um, so for A to Z, I'm telling you for years and decades, I would always, when I was sick or had something wrong or my friends did or people in my family did, um, I always resorted to this A to Z list out of curiosity and then also for greater understanding and if it makes sense, like headaches, like a lot of us suffer from headaches invalidating the self self-criticism fear it's just really interesting um and again it does go from a to z so you can instantly like the minute you have everything i just saw it ingrown toenail i mean it literally has everything imaginable on here and once you start out of curiosity it's like you look up your ailments you look up your parents ailments you look up your friends ailments you look up your family's ailments i mean Migraine headaches, dislike of being driven, resistant to the flow of life. It's just interesting. Um, yeah, so I definitely wanted to show this. Um, literally, you skip all the ads here. But this is such an easy A to Z list of all the spiritual meanings, causations of anything that you might be suffering. 
And um, even if you don't believe in this, it, the awareness, the um, it is so interesting. And some of them, it's like, wow, it makes so much sense. You know, it just makes so much sense. Like the stomach holds nourishment, digests ideas. So it's fear of the new, inability to assimilate the new. Of course, it's part of your digestion. Teeth represent decision. So if you have teeth problems, it's um, indecisiveness, inability to break down ideas. Um, get it? Like teeth. Um, it's just so, so interesting. I will say like the minute you start with this, it's like you will go through the whole list and looking up everything you've ever suffered from um and then looking up the people that you love and what they've suffered from and it's just really so interesting the throat channel of creativity yes yeah, so the throat problems would be the inability to speak up for oneself doesn't that make sense um and it is just so interesting so i definitely wanted to share this as well on my channel i love to show interesting things that i've used personally over the years um when I think about websites that I constantly refer to, um, like I shared that, looking up numbers and what's the angel message, I posted that recently. And in the back of my mind, I thought of this too, and I haven't gotten a chance to share it on my channel. Sinus problems, irritation to one person, someone close. <laughs> Gosh. Um, it's just really interesting. Even a scratch, feeling life tears at you, that life is a ripoff. Um every single thing that you could possibly imagine is here pimples small outbursts of anger um I, what i'm saying is i love posting um websites that i've personally used over the years that i find um just really open up my mind i mean you can heal your life just paying more attention um I'll also i posted recently about energy how energy affects us you know what I was just saying broadly, when you don't pay attention to the energy you're absorbing or how it's affecting you, you definitely can get um, physically ill. And that also reminded me I've yet to post this because this is very much on those lines that it's, a, in a sense, not taking care of your spiritual energy in some way. And it, these are the symptoms of what you get and you can address it spiritually. You can heal your life. Um, and it is so interesting. What, I, what I'm saying is, Say if you have, I don't know, if you um, suffer from something and you look it up, you will have light bulbs go off on some of these. You will be like, oh my gosh, I can't argue with that. Like, I, I do have that. I do. Um, I even looked up, um, I think it was stuffy nose. Was it stuffy nose? Like, my nose is always stuffed up. And here they said, I was like, oh boy, I guess that's true. Nose represents self-recognition nosebleed stuffy nose not recognizing the self-worth and you know everybody's working on that I can see that I'm working on that not recognizing the self-worth stuffy nose it's just so interesting so it definitely gives you ahas it's definitely things that you can address it's um it's just so amazing that she literally has from A to Z everything that you could possibly suffer from and it almost feels like I don't know if she got this through channeling or how she even came up with this but I do know that for years and I'm talking about like my entire life I think I found this as a teenager and from then on anytime I'm sick anytime anybody's sick I do go in here and um and look it up why so I found this website so I gather it's within the book heal your life but this is a um, public website that somebody posted so I'm definitely going to put the link down below so you can check it out yourself and refer to but um, I've never ever um, fat or weight issues over sensitivity often re represents fear it's just interesting and even where it is fever burning up anger is it's anger burning up um, you could just really want to scroll through here. It will really, it's just really, really, really interesting. Uh, colds, yeah, too much going on at once. I read that one already. It's just like even the common things that we all suffer from. It's just amazing. Um, breath represents the ability to take in life. So if you have breathing problems, it's fear, not trusting the process of life. 
everybody. I know so many people. I'm like reading for their illnesses and their ailments. Um, and the back, so many people have back problems. You know, it all represents feeling unsupported in your life. And uh, majority of people have financial issues. Majority of people have all of this, you know. They don't feel supported, so they have back issues. Just really, really interesting. Um, appetite, if it's excessive, fear, needing protection, judging the emotions, how we get eating your feelings. Um, let's see. It's just so, uh, allergies. I mean, I suffer allergies. My family suffers allergies, denying your own power. It's just really something to, to reflect on, um, shine a light on. So this is literally a list of symptoms and that you can heal your life, that these are spiritual causations. It's a full list of symptoms that Louise Hay wrote down. And it's um, basically letting you know what was the spiritual causation of it. And I believe in her book, you know, going back to the book, I believe in the book, it has all the affirmations that you can use to literally you can heal your life. But it's all about loving yourself. So um, of course, I recommend Louise Hay in all her books. She has a gazillion books out. And again, she started Hay House. But this web particular website that I'm going to give you, that of all the list of symptoms and the causations behind it, the spiritual causations behind it that cause these ailments, I find it fascinating. Once you begin it, um, I do think it's addictive and you're going to be looking it up for yourself and others. And it just really... Um, it's just something I, I always, I do have to say, I think since when I was a teenager, I mean, I just remember always having this at my fingertips. So um, I'll give you the website down below, but I wanted to pass it on. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know of Louise Hay already. You may even have known about this, but some of you may not have. And it's just so interesting. And some of it, it just makes so much sense. Um, it really does. It really makes a lot of sense. Um, all right. So this has been just a spirit message and tip to show you um, another website that I wanted to share with you and leave on my channel. This was Louise Hay, You Can Heal Your Life, list, list of symptoms and the spiritual uh, causations and the healing that you could possibly do when knowing this. Okay. Take care. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.